Hello and welcome. Continuing form where we left last time, we are now reaching level 150 here at the High Turning Mission. Upon reaching level 150, we can now go to the Illusion Abyss Turtle Dungeon. Here now at Hugel to get some Anniversary Field Manual buffs. These Anniversary Field Manual buff can be claimed by exchanging 150 Bregans and Little Horns to that big cat NPC. Use some butterfly wings to return to Alberta. We are now going to hunt some turtles. This place is only accessible by characters whose level is above 150. In a test, if my current gears are good enough for these high level turtles, requires three hits. I think I will be changing one or two of my equipped gears. We'll do that later. For now, let's see how much level can we gain in 30 minutes. Removing some of the clip. Aim the first level after 7 minutes. That is slow compared to my other runs here. My freeze resistance is low. I can't afford to put some freeze immunity in my armor because I'm planning to use its slot for something else. After about 18 minutes, we only gained three levels. a lot of clips and skipped to reaching level 155. We managed to gain 5 levels in our first 30 minutes here in Abyss Turtle Dungeon. That's within the average so it's not that bad after all. Spent about 4 hours doing the same thing over and over again here at the Abyss Turtle Dungeon before I reached level 170. We changed our headgear from Strike Hat to Temporal Circlet. This is a new character bound headgear that has almost the same effect as the Nightmare Biolab headgears. The effect of this particular headgear is that it boosts the damage of Round Trip and Vanishing Buster every three refinements. Those are the two main skills of this rebel that's why I decided to craft one of these. If you are wondering why my other accessory has no card on it, the answer is because I haven't got one more Boiling Swordfish card to use for it. Sadly, my luck is sometimes not active when hunting the cards I need. Here I used another field manual. Still requires two hits to defeat these turtles. However, if I equip my Juggernaut, Seraph Coronet, and Old Camouflage Scarf, I will be able to defeat them in one hit. The weekend bonus 100% experience points is already gone. This means that we are on our third day now. Have been playing for two to four hours each day. 
I am feeling we might reach the goal of getting to level 175 before the VIP buff expires. Also use the last free field manual item. One hundred seventy four now. The field manual is almost expiring now, and I still need more than thirty percent of experience points. Field manual buff expired. The VIP buff will follow in a few minutes. Let us try to get some more experience points. Level 175 reached. Total actual time spent in reaching up to this point is about 8 or 9 hours. This will be the temporary end of this series. I will continue this when the update for expanded class new jobs arrive. With that said, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more Ragnarok journeys.